is Oli Matatel from Aria Femme and I'm here with Krisha Turner! Okay. Now you just performed here yes. at Nine Mile Music Festival. Your first time? First time. Alright, now I had an opportunity to interview Nick Cannon in Jamaica oh, last nice. year when he was working on um, King, King of the Dance, Dance Hall. Hall. Yes. yes. And he spoke so much about you, you know, and I also think uh, y'all came to uh, um, something Mondays. Um, Keto Monday. Yes, you were there promoting. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what it's, what's it been like connecting with Jamaica and, and, you know, bridging the music world together. Bridging them together, well, as far as the movie and even Nick, um, a lot of people don't know, but I, I'm a Canadian Jamaican. I was born in Canada and I was raised between Canada and Jamaica. And as a proud first generation, I've always been an ambassador for the Jamaican culture. And at the time, Nick was my manager. And when I found out he had never been to Jamaica, I said this is absolutely unacceptable and we uh, had the opportunity because I was out there working a record that I did with T.O.K. So he came out during my promo run and I got to take him to Mojito Mondays, I got to take him to Screechies at Hellshire Beach, I got to take him to so many of my favorite places that I used to go to growing up and, and just it, it, immersing him in the culture and that's how he was actually inspired to do the movie King of the Dance Hall. So, um, I like to say the reason. <laughs> so what's going on? Is it coming out? I mean, we've been waiting. No, the movie, so the movie has been doing the film festival. So it premiered at TIFF, which is the Toronto International right, Film Festival. Right, I saw festival. that. Right. And we've been doing a bunch of film festivals. I did um, Palm Springs Film Fest, Santa Barbara Film Festival, Pan Afro Film Fest, Sundance, and it's doing a couple more, but they recently just sold the movie to uh, YouTube Red which is YouTube's answer to Netflix and the competitor to Hulu. So they're starting a new prescription-based, you know, programming. Yeah, I saw that. You yes. gotta pay for it yes. and get no commercials. No commercials. So the movie is gonna be one of the first content available on YouTube Red when it finally does its official American launch. Now, you know I gotta ask this question because, you know, you and Nick are very close and worked together so long. What's it been like with all this hype about him leaving America's Got Talent? And what, oh. are, you, what are your feelings with that? <laughs> I. You know, Nick is a man that does everything very calculated. Nothing is a mistake, nothing is a fluke, and he's been dealing with some of his health issues right now, so I think for him, it's a perfect time for him to kind of take a step back, and he's, he's excited about it, he's happy about it. He has so much going on in other avenues that he, uh, I remember him speaking about that he didn't want that particular job to define him and what he does in this industry. So it was almost as if he had been there long enough and he's excited to continue evolving and move on to different projects. But it's funny because people be saying he's crazy. So I call him and be like, so you crazy now, huh? <laughs> I don't think he's crazy. Because I, he's not. He's, he's, a br he's brilliant. He's yeah. a genius. And I think what's happening is he's finding himself. Yes, absolutely. He's speaking out. He's, more, he's more into himself as an African, absolutely. an African is. He's seeing all these things. So I love it. Anyway, let's get off Nick. Let's talk about Krisha. <laughs> So yes. what's next for you? Like, I mean, what's going on with your career? Um, I have a new record with Shaggy that's dropping. In, and then I have a new TV show with Revolt uh, about bringing culture to America and, and educating the people them because so many people don't realize where things come from. Beyonce did not make up that dance move. That dance move is from someplace yeah. and it's from Jamaica. So it's about little things, whether it's dance, whether it's music, whether it's fashion. And um, I have the opportunity via Revolt to kind of, like I said, educate the people there. So, Well, what are you working on right now with your single, What's Hot on the Streets? Uh, the one with the Shaggy, it's called Reggae Dancer. Um, we shot the video a couple months ago, and uh, it's premiering, I think, next month. But there's that. I was just in Trinidad working on a soca record that I did with Marcel's people um, called I Will Be, I Will Be Here. And there's, there's so much, there's that music going on, there's Revolt, there's the movie. Um, this whole weekend has been crazy because I did the full music video series as Trey Song's lead. Um, so the fourth movie just premiered, or the fourth music video just premiered yesterday. So that's why I've been getting hailed up about that. Um, so yeah, so much going on. I keep him busy. Well, congratulations. Thank I just got to ask you one last question. What? Uh, what are your top five where your artists? My top five, where are we going old school or are we going classic? Just mix it, mix it up, mix it up. I always say this on stage. One of my favorite female artists and lyricists is Tanya Stevens. Say that again. Tanya Stevens. All right. Um, another one of my favorites, oh my gosh, I, when I was living in Jamaica at the time, going to high school, I loved, I loved Mr. Lex. I loved Mr. Lex. Like, all of his records were my favorite records. Um, who else can we go to? I feel like the new generation of, 
of of dance hall. I just did a record with Conscience, so I have a big up Conscience. And then, of course, everybody loves Vibes. My whole playlist is Vibes right now. <laughs> we got one more. That's four. One more classic. We have to go with the uh, the reason that we are even here today. Nine Mile Music Festival. Who can't say Bob Marley? Who can't say Bob Marley? <laughs> when I said you heard it. Oh, oh we also did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I it, said it, you it, heard it. Krisha <laughs> Turner and Oli Matatal right here at Nine Mile Music Fest. Good luck on everything. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>